Hey, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. I sure am glad you're not a solicitor because then I'd have to tell you to leave. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to alleviate some of that dread of opening the front door to strangers or opening the door not knowing who might be there. And today we're going to take a look at the Ring Pro. We're going to go ahead and unbox this, um, install it, set it up, and run it through its paces. So if you're like me and you don't like surprises at the front door when you open it or answer the doorbell, come on inside and let's go ahead and install this and see how it works. Hey guys, today we're looking at the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Um, it says it's an ultra slim design. It requires an existing hardwired doorbell, HD video, advanced motion detection, works with iOS or Android, and it needs Wi-Fi. Inside flap says, say hello to Ring. And the side has a Ring story. And the other side has some requirements. And the compatibilities, the bottom it says it's certified for outdoor use. If we take a look at the back, it says convenience, monitoring, and security. It has pro features, enhanced Wi-Fi connection, interchangeable faceplate. Um, it has cloud recording and certified for outdoor usage again. And you can download the app from these app stores. So one logo I'm sure you know and realize that's missing, and that is the Works With HomeKit logo. So this isn't HomeKit compatible at this time, and I'll talk more about that later. The bottom says what's in the box. And that's it for the box. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So like I said, this isn't HomeKit compatible, but um, I'm hoping HomeKit compatibility comes in the very near future. So let's slide this open. And there we have the Ring Video Doorbell. Put this aside. That's everything that comes with it. Let's go ahead and take off the uh, plastic covering. We'll look at the doorbell itself. It's actually smaller than I thought it'd be. Um, this is the pro version. There's a place where you mount the screws and some labels. And let's compare the size to an iPhone 10. So it's a bit smaller than iPhone 10, so it's not not huge. I guess it's a good size. Hopefully it'll cover up the existing doorbell mount. Set that down and let's take a look at the um, the face plates. So we kind of have like a, a black. It's plastic thing, kind of like a dark gray. And a white one. I'll probably be using the dark gray one in the middle yeah the dark gray is the one I think I'll be using um, we have some literature here at the bottom flip this over and get it out Protected by ring sticker. Uh, need installation help. More literature. It looks like um, install guides. So this one's installing the um, the Pro Power Kit. Pretty well laid out. And the next one is the doorbell itself. I like that they are labeled one, two, and three. This would be the second step. It shows how to install the uh, mounting anchors. And last one is three. And it says perform the in-app setup. Which should be pretty straightforward. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Again, I like that they are numbered one, two, and three. Um, here is the Pro Power Kit installation um, kind of card and the actual Pro Power Kit 
so this is supposed to help you or help your doorbell um, send the right amount of power to the doorbell so that um, you have enough enough power to to power the doorbell and let's see the first number one should tell you how to install this and that's actually pretty good um, it should be pretty straightforward if you can follow directions give you a couple of tools it looks like a drill bit for if you're drilling into brick or um, stucco and a screwdriver with two bit heads that's cool that they include that and then in this So let's go ahead and set the power kit on the bottom here. And in this corner, it looks like some extra wires. Oh, some yeah, extra connectors and wires. If I think if you need to extend the wiring, it looks like. So they provide those. And this looks like mounting hardware. Yep, anchors and screws. So for the physical mounting of the front doorbell. So that's everything that comes in the kit. It comes with all these face plates. It has um, the default face plate and I'll probably replace it with this one. Like I said, I think that'll work well with the existing hardware in the door. The black looks good too. And if you wanted to use white, I think that'd work just as well as, as well. So let's go ahead and start with installation. So after turning off the uh, breaker box or the uh, switch that controls the doorbell at the breaker box, the first thing we need to do is install the Pro Power Kit. And the way we do that is we remove the cover to the doorbell. We want to look for the front wire and the trans wire. And those are these front and trans. And I'm going to work on these wires individually so that I don't get them mixed up. And here we have the, the Pro Power Kit. And Ring labels these. I don't know if you can read the labels or if it will get, it'll focus on them. This one says front and this one says trans. So since I'm working on the front one first, all I do is I take the front wire, place it inside. Oh wait, I think I have to open these up first. And they said it's gonna feel like you're breaking them. So that is pretty close. You place the front wire in there and then you close it down. Then we take this front wire and we attach it here. But first I'm gonna go ahead and do the trans wire now. So next thing I need to do is go ahead and attach the front wire to front and put a little bend in the wire. And the trans wire, transformer wire to trans. Okay, it's a good connection. So now we'll install the doorbell itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this installation. Um, I'm going to remove the existing doorbell, drill some holes, use a level to make sure everything's level. But then I'm going to wire it, clean the wires up. So we're going to go ahead and open up the app. And it says to press and release the small button on the side of your ring doorbell. Your ring video doorbell is now in setup mode. 
Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Now it's asking me to tap on Wi-Fi, then select the network starting with Ring. So I have to go to my Wi-Fi settings. Pick Wi-Fi and find, there it is, it says Ring. Choose that. The Ring app is now connected to your Ring video doorbell. Your Ring doorbell is now scanning for networks. I'll enter the password. Hit continue. Your Ring video doorbell is getting ready to connect to your Wi-Fi network. This might take a moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. Your Ring doorbell is connecting. Your Ring video doorbell is now up and running. With Ring, you're always home. Your Ring video doorbell is updating its internal software. Please wait until the front light stops flashing. Congratulations, setup is complete. Now secure the faceplate with a security screw. So while that's setting up, I'm going to go ahead and attach the front faceplate that I chose. So hey guys, here's what the video looks like from the Ring doorbell. I'm, I'm not editing for anything at all except for content. Um, if there's any stuttery or jitteriness, that's because that's um, what's coming from the Ring doorbell. So that's what it looks like if you view it and how I view it when I answer the door. So hey guys, thanks for dropping by. There you go, the installation of the Ring Pro doorbell. Um, it seems to work pretty well. Installation was pretty straightforward, not too many wires to connect. The probably most challenging part of this install was physically mounting it to where the old doorbell was. So I had a stucco wall which was a little bit uneven, so I had to try and even that out so it would sit as flat as I could get it. Um, drilling the holes was really no problem. I wish that they would have, on the mounting part, added some slits so that you wouldn't have to be so precise to where you drilled because when I when I finally did mount it with the screws and the mounting hardware they provided it was a bit of a tight fit because the tolerance was really low you have to be pretty much spot on with where you drill so I would recommend and I didn't do this um, drilling smaller pilot holes before using their drill bit and drilling the holes for the mounting hardware um, but other than that pretty straightforward again Simple install, um, setup was easy. We didn't have the usual or typical home kit setup because this ring doorbell, although we were promised a couple years ago to have home kit compatibility, it does not yet have it. And I'm gonna go off on a little rant here because in 2016, holiday buying season of 2016, when everything was on sale, I bought this because everything I read from Ring, the company said, that HomeKit was coming in 2017. And guess what guys, we just rung in the new year, 2018, a week or two ago, and there's still no HomeKit. So if anyone from Ring happens to see this, do right by your customers, like myself, who bought this on the promise of HomeKit, and give us HomeKit this year, sooner rather than later. I'd hate to be thinking I'm gonna hit the holidays again this year, and still not have HomeKit. Um, I will say I did tweet to Ring during CES, which just happened last week, and they said that HomeKit is coming. So I'm hoping they come through with it this year. Um, if they don't, and my main focus was having a HomeKit compatible home and smart home system a lot of everything you've seen that I've installed so far as far as smart home accessories have been HomeKit compatible um, without that HomeKit compatibility I can't recommend this if you're a HomeKit focused smart home like myself and had I known 
that it would take over a year, two years to get HomeKit compatibility, I would not have purchased this. I'll stick with this. I recently, like I said, I recently installed it. I figured it's 218, 2018, sorry, and they gotta have HomeKit this year. So I installed it in anticipation of that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Ring does um, come through for their Apple customers and provide HomeKit, which was promised over two years ago. So I hope they do that. And if they do come through with the HomeKit compatibility as soon as that happens and the firmware update is there, I'll go ahead and make a video and append this video and update the video and show you guys how to run the firmware update and integrate it with the Home app. So there you have it, the Ring Pro doorbell. Uh, if you don't care about HomeKit, it does what it should do, the functionality is there, it works fine. If you're hoping for HomeKit compatibility, I say hold off and don't buy this right now. Um, I'm done buying accessories or devices from companies that promise HomeKit compatibility. From this day forward, I'm only buying accessories that have HomeKit out of the box. So thanks guys for joining me and watching me install this and setting it up. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Hey guys, before you go, I have one more favor. If you watch this video um, and you found any of it useful or you want to see more, um, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. YouTube very recently, and as I was finishing up editing on this video, I read that YouTube is going to have more restrictions on smaller creators like myself um, to earn on YouTube. So before, you had to have 10,000 views, total views to be able to start earning money on your um, videos. But that's going to change. Now, YouTube wants us to have 4,000 hours of view or 4,000 watchable hours over the course of 12 months which is fine but they also necessitate that the creator also has 1,000 subscribers now I just recently hit 300 and I am very very thankful for each one of you who subscribed to this channel so far but in order for me to keep earning um, I'll need a thousand thousand subscribers so I want to hit that thousand subscribers. So if you watch this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, please make one. Then subscribe to all your favorite creators, um, especially the smaller ones like myself, because we won't be able to earn anything on, on these videos. And I didn't start YouTube to start making money. That wasn't my goal. My goal was to teach um, people and let you come with me on my journey into creating a smart home on the HomeKit platform. But every little bit helps. And again, those earnings go right back into the channel, right back into buying um, HomeKit compatible devices. And it's really encouraging for me when I see that um, to kind of motivate me to make more videos and do them often. So sorry for the long rant, but if you could please hit subscribe, I would be forever thankful. And if I hit a thousand, when I hit a thousand, I'll have a giveaway and I'll have more about that in another video. So please hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, please like it. And until next time, really this time, I'll see you.